Hey nerds, Amy here and today we are going to learn how to set up shifts in Microsoft Teams. If you create a schedule or track hours for your employee, then shifts is a great way to do just that. Especially if you are outsourcing to a different platform, then shifts is a great way to bring all of that staff in-house so that everything is right within Teams. All right, let's nerd out. In Teams, the first thing that we are going to do is open up shifts. So I'm going to click on these three dots on the left hand side and shifts is actually the first one there. If you don't see shifts, then you can start to type shifts. If it still doesn't pop up, then you can click on more apps, but I'm going to click on shifts and continue. Right away, I'm also going to right click and pin this app. Now it's always going to be on my left navigation panel. Now we need to select a team at Amy's Animal Barn in Petco where we want to create shifts schedule. So I'm going to create this in dog boarding. And now we just need to select the time zone and the nearest city, which in this instance, these are accurate. So I'm going to click confirm. The next item that we are going to look at is the settings from the top. And you'll see right away that this is the time zone that we have just selected. Additionally, there is an option to change the start of the week. So I'm going to change that to Sunday. Next is the ability to add shift activities on the schedule. And when you copy that schedule, then those activities will stay. I'm going to leave this on and we'll see that come full circle in just a moment. The next item is if you want to add open shifts to your schedule and then your employees can view and request those open shifts. Once again, I'm happy with that and I'll leave it on. Down below we have requests and these are just the different options that employees can select when requesting time off. You can also add a custom option, but I'm happy with those, so I'm going to delete. The last item is time clock. So if you have employees that are clocking in and out, and their hours are used for payroll, then you will turn this on. When we turn on time clock, there is also this option to include location detection on the mobile app. So that means that you can define a location if you wanted to, and employees will only be able to clock in if they are at that physical location. I'm okay with this, so I'm going to toggle this off and turn on time clock. Now that we have turned on time clock, you will see that there's this export here for time reporting. So if you are going to be using shifts to track hours for payroll, then this is where you will generate that report. We will take a look at that in another video, but now that we've got these settings down, let's take a look at actually setting up shifts. So the first thing that I'm going to do is rename this group. So we have groups and this is essentially where you can divide up your departments um, or organize your schedule however you like just so that it is easier to navigate. So here for example I can rename this group and we can now have two groups. One will be dog boarding hosts and the second will be guest services. Now that we have our groups or departments, we can now add employees. So since it's just me, I'm going to add myself to the guest services. However, you can add multiple employees here um, as well. You can just drag and drop them however you want to order them within the group. I did want to quickly add that when I was creating a different shifts schedule, some employees were showing their alias display name. So it was showing as a former employee that had that email address. And to fix this issue, the only thing that needed to happen was the employee simply needed to sign into shifts and then it updated. Now that we have our groups and employees defined, we can start to add shifts. So we will just click on add shift and from the top, we can actually color code these, which is super helpful for a nice visual aspect. I'm actually quite happy with these times, but as you can see, there's a lot of opportunity for customization. Next is a custom label and you'll see that it says show instead of time. I personally prefer to have the time show on the shift and then we can add a note that the employee will see. 
Here we will also say that there is a 60 minute unpaid break and we can also add a shift note. So today we have Rue arriving at Amy's Animal Barn in Petco. So we want Amy to give Rue a big hug because all of the staff love her. Next, we will add shift activity. So here you'll see that we can define different time slots throughout the day if there's certain things that we want to do. So in this instance, we want Amy to confirm upcoming appointments between 8 a.m. and 8.15. Now that we have this shift in place, we can click Save. I wanted to take a moment to demonstrate the custom label. So you'll see on this guest services position, we have front desk written down here, whereas on the dog boarding host, it indicates the time of the shift. So if we double click on this shift, then we can see that I have front desk, which shows instead of time. So this is a customization feature and it is definitely a preference that will work best for your company. Now that we have these two templates, we can simply control C. Going back to that setting earlier, now it's asking if we want to copy the shift activities that we've defined. In this instance, I'm going to keep that on. Now I can simply click on Wednesday and just control V and paste these into the schedule. I will do the same down here. And now look at that, this schedule is really coming together. The next thing that I want to show you is the ability to add a day note to the whole schedule. So on Tuesday, May 16th, I know that the health and safety inspector is coming. So I'm going to pop that there. This schedule is now ready to be shared with the team. So you'll see these little stars here, and that just means that they have not been shared. So up on the top right corner, we will click share with team. You have the ability to customize the dates of the schedule that you want to share. And then you can notify your entire team or affected members only. Because this is the entire schedule for the entire team, I'm going to share with the entire team. You will now notice that this button at the top is grayed out, meaning that this schedule has been shared with everyone Additionally, those little stars or asterisks beside the shifts are now gone as well, meaning that this is published. Let's say that we need to edit this schedule so we can change the time to say 8.15 to 5.15. If we click save, then you'll now notice that this share with team button is available again. Also, this shift now has the asterisks indicating that it is not shared with that team member. Once again, let's click share with team. This time I'm going to select affected team members only. Now we have that change published and that staff member has once again been notified. The next item that I wanted to show you was the different viewing options. So from the top, you can see that we can select either day, which will show you the different hours throughout the day and the different shifts and groups associated with that day. Additionally, you can change it to month. So this is a nice visual if you want to see the whole schedule throughout the month. From the top left, you can also toggle through the various months with these arrows like this. Now, if you also want to quick start to today, then you can just click today at the top. I also just wanted to highlight this little note icon and that's that note that we added earlier. Additionally, at the top, you will see that we have an ability to filter this schedule and we also have the option to change the viewing settings. So if you wanted to view just your shifts or the team shifts, different groups and so on. The last item that I wanted to show you was the request tab. And this is where you will view all of the time off requests as well as shift swaps and so on. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today and I also hope that I've shown you how to set up shifts within Microsoft Teams. If you do have any questions about shifts, then please just pop those in the comments below and please also hit that subscribe and like button. Feel free to check out this video here. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.